Islam. Do you know the meaning of Islam? Islam means to submit one's will to the will of God, which is an Arabic term. Here we will get into the most topics regarding Islam, origin, pillars, history, symbols, Muslims, Prophet Muhammad, Allah, the Holy Quran, Sunni, and Shia, Nation of Islam, Jihad, etc. What is Islam? Islam is a monotheistic religion that teaches that there is only one divine being, one supreme creator of the universe. Muslims believe that Islam is the true religion of God revealed to humanity. It is a universal religion that can be practiced by anyone at any time and in every place. The central concept of this way of life is total submission to God. Islam is a complete, holistic way of living that covers every aspect of life. Islam leaves no stone unturned as it teaches mankind on how to behave in every area of life. Individual, social, material, moral, ethical, legal, cultural, political, economical, and global. Welcome to the Islamic Fashion Channel and this video, Islam, and an introduction. Your opinion regarding our channel and videos is appreciated very much. Let us know in the comments please. Where did Islam originate? Origin of Islam Islam started in Mecca, in modern-day Saudi Arabia, during the time of the Prophet Muhammad's life. When was Islam founded? Islam originated in Mecca and Medina at the start of the 7th century C. Five Pillars of Islam, Pillars of Sunni Islam First Pillar, Shahada, Profession of Faith Second Pillar, Salah, Prayer Third Pillar, Zakat, Almsgiving Fourth Pillar, Psalm, Fasting Fifth Pillar, Hajj, Pilgrimage Twelver Shia Islam has five Yusul al-Din Ta'id, monotheism, belief in the oneness of God. Adl, divine justice, belief in God's justice. Nubawa, prophethood. Imama, succession to Muhammad. Mayad, the day of judgment and the resurrection history of Islam. The history of Islam concerns the political, social, economic and cultural developments of Islamic civilization. Islam being an Abrahamic religion traces back to Abraham and his firstborn son Ishmael, while Christianity and Judaism traces back to his secondborn son Isaac. According to the tradition, Abraham found God himself and accepts all sacrifices for him. He also rebuilt the Kaaba, the holiest place of the faith, with his son, after the first prophet Adam. Islam starts in about the 7th century, c, when Muhammad revealed that God is one, and that he is a prophet. According to tradition, in 610 c, the Islamic prophet Muhammad began receiving, what Muslims consider to be divine revelations, calling for submission to the one God, the expectation of the imminent last judgment, and caring for the poor and needy. Muhammad's message won over a handful of followers and was met with increasing opposition from Meccan notables. In 622, a few years after losing protection with the death of his influential uncle Abu Talib, Muhammad migrated to the city of Yathrib, now known as Medina. With Muhammad's death in 632, disagreement broke out over who would succeed him as leader of the Muslim community during the Rashidun Caliphate. By the 8th century, the Umayyad Caliphate extended from Iberia in the west to the Indus River in the east. Polities such as those ruled by the Umayyads and Abbasid Caliphate, in the Middle East and later in Spain and southern Italy, Fatimids, Seljuks, Ayyubids and Mamluks, were among the most influential powers in the world. Highly Persianized empires built by the Samanids, Ghaznavids, Ghurids made significant developments. The Islamic Golden Age gave rise to many centers of culture and science and produced notable polymaths, astronomers, mathematicians, physicians, and philosophers during the Middle Ages. 
By the early 13th century, the Delhi Sultanate conquered the northern Indian subcontinent, while Turkic dynasties like the Sultanate of Ram and Archicids conquered much of Anatolia from the Byzantine Empire throughout the 11th and 12th centuries. In the 13th and 14th centuries, destructive Mongol invasions and those of Tamerlane, Timur, from the east, along with the loss of population in the Black Death, greatly weakened the traditional centers of the Muslim world, stretching from Persia to Egypt. But saw the emergence of the Timurid Renaissance and major global economic powers such as West Africa's Mali Empire and South Asia's Bengal Sultanate. Following the deportation and enslavement of the Muslim Moors from the Emirate of Sicily and other Italian territories, the Islamic Spain was gradually conquered by Christian forces during the Reconquista. Nonetheless, in the early modern period, the states of the age of the Islamic gunpowders, the Ottoman Turkey, Safavid Iran and Malindia, emerged as great world powers. During the 19th and early 20th centuries, most of the Islamic world fell under the influence, or direct control of European great powers. Their efforts to win independence and build modern nation-states over the course of the last two centuries continue to reverberate to the present day, as well as fuel conflict zones in regions such as Palestine, Kashmir, Xinjiang, Chechnya, Central Africa, Bosnia and Myanmar. The oil boom stabilized the Arab states of the Gulf Cooperation Council, making them the world's largest oil producers and exporters, which focus on free trade and tourism. symbol, crescent and star, used first in the Ottoman Empire and is related to the moon. Rab el -Hiz. The Rab el -Hiz is used to facilitate recitation of the Qur'an. The symbol is also found on a number of emblems and flags. Sujid, used in the Qur'an. Followers of Islam are called Muslim. A Muslim is anyone who submits their will to the one, and only true God who is worthy of worship, Allah, God. A Muslim also believes in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the last and final Prophet of God. By submitting oneself and worshipping Allah, God, a Muslim attains peace through obedience to his commandments. Peace is a natural result of submitting to the will of Allah. For a person to become a Muslim and accept Islam as their faith, they must say and believe in the following phrase, La ilaha illa Allah, Muhammad Rasul Allah. This sentence literally means there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. The sentence also means there is none worthy of worship except Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. The moment a person says this phrase, and begins to act upon it, they become a Muslim. Who is Prophet Muhammad? From the beginning of mankind until the present day Allah has sent a prophet to every nation, to guide them to the truth. They were sent to teach their people to worship God alone, and not to ascribe any divine partners to Him. The names of these prophets, may sound familiar to you. They include Adam, Nut, Noah, Ibrahim, Abraham, Ismail, Ishak, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob, Jesus, Muhammad, and many others, peace be upon them all. Muslims believe Jesus to be a prophet of God, rather than a divine being or son. We will cover this difference in faith between the Muslims and Christians in a future guide. Who is Allah? Allah is the name God Almighty has given himself as is mentioned many times in the Holy Quran. Say, he is Allah, the, one, Allah, the eternal, he did not beget, give birth, and he was not begotten, given birth to, and there has never been anyone equal to him. Quran, Chapter 112, Verses 1-4 Muslims believe he has no partners in divinity, which includes having no son, and nothing in the universe is similar to him. Muslims believe that Allah is the originator and sustainer of the universe, and that he created human beings for only one purpose, to worship him alone. To worship anything besides Allah is considered a grave sin. The reward for worshiping him alone and following his path is goodness in this world and paradise in the next dot. 
Truly, all will admit those who believe and do righteous good deeds to gardens underneath which rivers flow, in paradise, wherein they will be adorned with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their garments therein will be of silk. Quran, Chapter 22, Verse 20 the Holy Quran, Islam Holy Book The Holy Quran contains 114 chapters, and it was revealed over 1,400 years ago to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. A core belief taught in Islam, is that human beings are unique from among God's creation. We have the ability to think freely, and choose to behave in any way we wish. In order to communicate and guide mankind, Allah sends prophets and messengers with scriptures to teach mankind about the true message. Muslims believe that many scriptures have been revealed to mankind in the past. They include the Torah sent to Moses, the Psalms sent to David, and the Gospel sent to Jesus Christ, peace be upon them all. The Holy Quran is the last revelation from Allah sent to all of mankind. And it was revealed to his final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Muslims believe that Islam is not a new religion, but rather a continuation and completion of the message revealed to the prophets of the past. Allah teaches in the Quran, say, O Muhammad, we believe in Allah, and in what has been sent down to us. And what was sent down to Abraham, Abraham, Ismail, Ishak, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob, and al but the twelve sons of Jacob, Jacob, and what was given to Musa, Moses, Isa, Jesus, and the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between one another among them and to him, Allah, we have submitted, in Islam. Quran, Chapter 3, Verse 84 And in another verse Allah tells us that Islam is the final message for mankind. This day have I, Allah, perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Quran, Chapter 5, Verse 3 Muslims believe that it is the verbatim word of Allah, it has not been tampered, edited, or changed in any way throughout those years. The Quran we have today is the same Quran that was originally revealed to Muhammad, peace be upon him. This scripture covers the major themes of life such as piety, worship, belief, morals, good deeds, sins, death, the afterlife, and like holy books. Islamic holy books are the texts which Muslims believe were authored by Allah through various prophets throughout humanity's history. All these books, in Muslim belief, spread the code and laws that God ordained for those people. Among the books considered to be revealed, the three mentioned by name in the Quran Sharif are the Torah, Torah or the Law, revealed to Musa, Moses, the Zabur, Psalms, revealed to Daud, David, the Angel, the Gospel, revealed to Isa, Jesus. Let's look at Surah 4 163. Indeed, we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, as we reveal to Noah and the prophets after him. And we reveal to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, the descendants, Jesus, Job, Jonah, Aaron, and Solomon, and to David, we gave the book of Psalms. Islam Religion The Creator has periodically chosen human beings to reveal his messages to humankind. Indeed, the Quran refers to many prophets such as Abraham, Noah, David, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and Jesus. These messages and revelations culminated in Islam and in Muhammad as the last prophet. The historical evolution and incorporation of prior messages into Islam are clearly stated in the Quran. Thus Islam is not a new religion. The Quran refers to Islam as the religion of Abraham, Jacob, Moses, Jesus, and other prophets. It is simply the last of the divine messages to reach humankind through Prophet Muhammad, who was chosen by the Creator as the bearer of his last and all-encompassing revelation. This explains why there exists a strong link between Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. 
Christians and Jews are referred to in the Quran as the people of the book, because they are the recipients of the messages of the Creator through Moses and the Old Testament prophets, and through Jesus, who is believed in Islam to be the fruit of a miracle birth by the Blessed Virgin Mary. Sunni Islam Sunni Islam is by far the largest branch of Islam, followed by 85-90% of the world's Muslims. Its name comes from the word Sunna, referring to the behavior of Muhammad. Shia Islam Shia Islam or Shiism is one of the two main branches of Islam. It holds that the Islamic prophet Muhammad designated Ali ibn Abi Talib as his successor and the imam, spiritual and political leader, after him, most notably at the event of Ghadir Qum, but was prevented from succeeding Muhammad as the leader of the Muslims, as a result of the choice made by some of Muhammad's other companions at Sakifa. The Differences Between Sunni and Shia Muslims those who followed the Prophet's closest companion, Abu Bakr, became known as Sunni, the followers of the Prophet's example, Sunnah. Those who followed the Prophet's cousin and son-in-law, Ali, became known as Shi'a, the followers of the party of Ali, Shi'adu Ali. The differences between Sunni and Shia Muslims arose from a disagreement over the succession to Muhammad, and subsequently acquired broader political significance as well as theological and juridical dimensions. According to Sunni traditions, Muhammad designated Abu Bakr as his successor, the first caliph. This contrasts with the Shia view, which holds that Muhammad announced his son-in-law and cousin Ali ibn Abi Talib as his nation of Islam. The Nation of Islam, Noi, is a religious and political organization founded by Wallace Fard Muhammad in the United States in 1930. While it identifies itself as promoting a form of Islam, its beliefs differ considerably from mainstream Islamic traditions. It operates as a hierarchical and centralized organization based in Chicago. Scholars of religion characterize it as a new religious movement and a UFO religion. Wallace Fard Muhammad established the Nation of Islam in Detroit. He drew on various sources, including Noble Drew Ali's Moorish Science Temple of America, black nationalist trends like Garveyism, and black-oriented forms of Freemasonry. After Fard Muhammad disappeared in 1934, leadership of the Noi was assumed by Elijah Muhammad. He expanded the Noi's teachings and declared that Fard Muhammad was in reality the latest Allah. Attracting growing attention in the late 1950s and 1960s, the noise influence expanded through high-profile members such as the boxer Muhammad Ali and the black nationalist activist Malcolm X. Deeming it a threat to domestic security, the Federal Bureau of Investigation worked to undermine the group. Following Elijah Muhammad's death in 1975, his son Warith Dean Muhammad took over the organization, moving it towards Sunni Islam, and renaming it the World Community of Islam and the West. Members seeking to retain Elijah Muhammad's teachings re-established the Nation of Islam under Louis Farrakhan's leadership in 1977. Farrakhan has continued to develop the noise distinctive beliefs, for instance by drawing connections with Dianetics, and expanded its economic and agricultural operations. Riza Islam Ronnie Stephen Riza Islam, born March 17, 1990, is an American member of the Nation of Islam and a social media influencer. He is a member of its paramilitary wing, the Fruit of Islam. According to the Anti-Defamation League, Islam has more than 500k followers, regularly posts anti-Semitic, anti-LGBTQ and anti-vaccine rhetoric, and espouses a range of conspiracy theories. Jihad Jihad is often mistranslated to mean holy war, the term to mean waging war against disbelievers in an attempt to either convert them to Islam or to kill them. Often the word jihad is thought to be synonymous with terrorism, in reality, this is not the truth. 
Jihad comes from an Arabic word meaning to make an effort or to strive towards a goal. The term Jihad means to to exert oneself or to struggle. In the Islamic context, it means to struggle against one's own evil inclination. So, any effort of self-improvement, whether in the form of improving one's own spirituality, education, or financial situation, is an act of jihad. Conclusion According to a study in 2015, Islam has 1.8 billion adherents, making up about 24.1% of the world population. Most Muslims are either of two denominations, Sunni, 87-90%, roughly 1.6 billion people, or Shia, 10-13%, roughly 180-230 million people. Islam is the world's second largest religion, after Christianity. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and share. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon.